Well, uh, hello everybody. This is Tom. It's, you know, the metal. What's up? I have absolutely no idea where I am because I have not played in forever. So, um... Okay, Viridian Forest. God, I don't feel like catching Pokemon. I'll just... I'll kill Bro Brock with Pikachu. Yeah, whatever. I'll fight everyone, because I don't care. I really don't. Please tell me I'm not paralyzed. Please tell me I'm not paralyzed. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing. Um, if I'm not to my normal standards of vocal awesomeness, I was just at SGC, so... <laughs> I kind of lost my voice, but let's make do. Your level seven worms of death. They can't do anything to me. Oh, critical hit! Take that up your butthole. Uh, I think it's like the only thing I can do right now. It's just spam Thundershock. It feels like I'm playing Super Smash Brothers. Since that's all you do with Pikachu. Uh, no, actually, if you know right, it's uh, spam down smash, but whatever. So my real tactic here is to just grind the fuck out of this little motherfucker here until he is so strong that I can kill Brock's Pokemon with a thing single thunder shock. And if that doesn't work, fuck. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, it's time to fight the penis. Let's go. You, you little green man, you need to get that checked out. Thunder Wave? Look, I've, just, I've got one good move, and I have like three completely useless moves right here. I guess I, I could paralyze somebody, but I, I could also do that using Thunder Shock. There's a chance. What? Why do they give you all these useless moves at the beginning? I don't really know many people who use Growl and Tail Whip. I can understand Thunder Wave, but... <sighs> Some of the later versions of them that greatly decrease things, they can be helpful, but not these motherfuckers at the beginning of the game. You think, ah ha ha ha, somebody's gonna be stupid enough to waste a turn! Okay... Let's get this catcher pie. It's not my favorite kind of pie, but I'll eat it anyway. Oh, you have to run back and heal for no fucking reason. Just I'm gonna run out of PP. And my only move that does damage. Oh god, wasting my time. A thunder shark. That's a special attack, right? Harden's like useless against it. What the fuck? And if this is your first time joining me, I never said I was family appropriate. In fact, I've said on many occasions, I'm not family appropriate. So, uh, yeah, you, you can leave if you want. I, I wouldn't mind, just, uh... You've already stuck around at this point. I've got the view. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. But, uh, I if you don't mind my vulgarity, Please, stick around, have some fun, share me with your friends. Uh, we, we can have a great time together. Fuck. God, that's so quiet. I mean, I like the fact that instead of making a cry, they actually gave Pikachu its own, you know, sound, it's saying its name. But... They could have made it louder. I, I guess the limitations of the engine at the time. I don't know. I just know Pikachu can get through this forest a lot easier than most people because Charmander doesn't even have a fire move yet. And it's just like bug Pokemon. 
At least mine does some type of elemental damage, even though it's not super effective against this shit. And it has a chance to paralyze him, motherfucker! Dude, my Pikachu must feel strange every time I yell motherfucker at the uh, opponent, since that's kind of its name. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's no genders yet, but my Pikachu's a girl because Ash's Pikachu or Red's was originally supposed to be a girl, but they thought that would just be too confusing to people, so they made it a boy. I don't understand how that happened. Like there was supposed to be an episode, if you remember Gengar's Curse or whatever, and, and Ash became a Pikachu, and Ash's Pikachu was supposed to be hitting on him. But I think they like changed that because they didn't want to confuse the audience or something like that. I, I don't I don't remember exactly. All I know is for like a polyphonic engine that sounds like chip tunes. This music was pretty badass. Ah! Can't even make it out of the bush. I don't even have a fucking Pidgey. Well, I'll probably kill him in one shot because thunder kills birds, but whatever. Yeah. I should probably get a Pidgey eventually. <laughs> if I don't get a flying Pokemon, late game travel is going to be a pain in the arse. Oh, la, 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 la. I've also noticed, you know, I like to think of these seasonally, because there's a hell of a lot of Metapods, I don't see any Caterpie, so it must be like, evolving season, or whatever. Oh, there's one! Speak of the devil! But, I'm not gonna catch you, because I would kill you in one shot. Do I have any other Pokemon? I don't remember! I mean, guys, relax. I may sound stupid, I'm the one playing this, but it's been a, like a week since I even did the last one. What do I have? This. I must be a fucking idiot. This is all I got. Oh well, time to roll with the punches. <laughs> Thunder Pokemon. Against Brock. Oh, maybe I won't kill it in one shot. I mean... Starting out with a Pikachu, it's really hard to catch a Pidgey in the first place. Because even at the same level, your Thunder Shock's gonna kill it in one shot. Oh yeah, could have caught a Rattata. It would have. There, there's no elemental advantage or disadvantage there. And I'm probably gonna have to go back now because I'm running out of Thunder Shocks. Ah oh, wait, how many Pokemon does he have? I hope I don't run out before I kill him. God, I might actually lose because I'm an idiot. That was. Just bullshitting my way through the beginning of the game, probably. Oh, good, I defeated him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back now <laughs> and just uh, ignore every single fucker that tries to fight me. <laughs> God, what was I thinking, honestly? I, I don't even know. I don't. Go ahead, laugh at me. Laugh your asses off. You guys do this whole game with one fucking Pokemon. I mean, it would be a lot easier with Pikachu. I mean, the only real trouble you'd have is uh, Bruno again at the Elite Four. But, uh, yeah. It's a lot easier than trying to do it with the Charizard, I'll tell you that. Even with the level 100 Charizard, you still have some uh, problems there. You have some type disadvantages, and you die early. I don't know why anybody picked- I picked Charizard. I I'll admit it. Because he looked cool. Charmander, Fire, Lizard. It's like, what, what, what could go wrong? And then you find out through most of the game, Char Charmander, stat-wise, moveset-wise, and just all around everything based on uh, the people you have to fight, advantages, disadvantages. And then he becomes fire and flying. Kinda sucks. I mean, I love Charizard. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. 
uh, aesthetically, uh, just all around his biography, everything. But he sucks. Anybody who says he doesn't is, you know, got a bug up their ass or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd never pick him ever. I mean, honestly, the best choice for this game is Venusaur. People friggin' laugh, but Venusaur is the best choice of picking Bulbasaur at the beginning. Well, not this one, because it's yellow version and all you can fucking pick is Pikachu, but... If you're playing red or blue. Or if you're from Japan, Konnichiwa. But, um, you know, green. <laughs> that never got released over here. Because I thought blue was cooler. Okay, I healed my Pokemon. I've got one last person to fight in the fucking forest, but my time's up, so I'll catch you fucktards later. Have a good day and share me with your fucking friends. I know where you are or live. I can figure it out. I won't do anything about it, but I could. Just know that. Just know that. Bye.